is Quan Nation back with another video. Now, as you can tell from the title, I'm giving y'all some tips and tricks on how to get this Elgin Baylor card. Now, some of you may know y'all got the takeover players, and these grinds is ridiculous. Like, look at this Andre Iguodala, 15 unlimited, 25 clutch time online, triple th 25 triple threat online, 35 triple threat offline, and 35 clutch time offline. You add that up, that's 70 games right here. That's another 50 games with these two. So that's 120 games plus 15 unlimited games. So doing the math, that's 135 games that you have to win at the minimum. And y'all know how sweaty unlimited get. And y'all know clutch time. and Y'all know how people be online. That's crazy. Now, if you, if you got the Andre Iguodala, fair enough. Now, where you really got to take advantage is the easy challenges like this. Like, I got the Donovan Mitchell, not even going to lie to you. The grind was kind of easy, but it was it was something. This Elgin Baylor right here, I feel like not too many people is going to go for this card or excited for this card. But mind you, you have a whole week to get this card. And I feel like it's pretty easy. So let's look at some of the challenge, right? Play 10 triple threat offline using three Lakers players. That's easy. You can do that take like an hour play 20 games with lakers players get rebounds points assists make free throws double double threes dunks and then you got to get 55 and 12 with a small forward now some of these challenges they might look crazy i'm about to i'm about to let y'all in on a little secret on how to how to get some of these challenges done easy so first things first we're gonna head over to the skill challenges right boom basketball fundamentals go all the way down to the bottom if you ain't do this if you ain't know about this it's a one minute game i probably already do but let's hop into it just so i can show y'all what i'm talking about so dang my game went low one minute game we're gonna Welcome everybody. through this Thanks right for quick joining us for nba action on 2k sports i don't want to lie to if i don't want to watch this part skip to the end i'm kevin harlan right. at the table I'm and from cut the sidelines it's our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. Yeah, I'm going to so cut this part out. So look at the starters out. for the Wizards. But one minute Kuzma quarters. will step in at the four. Easy. Porzingis at center. Mind you, you got to use all the Lakers guards. players, too. And it's Kispert like in at the three. Of them. So get and your Lakers Salt players City, from the token market and stuff like that. Johnson is out there with Lake. This honor, these kind all right, so we back, right? In the fourth and quarter now. That is why in the fourth quarter, this is what you want. I kept the game close, right? Just let them score. Let them score. If they if they want to score, they want to score. With the rebound, score. All right, so look. So on the floor for game game is close. You feel me? And what do teams do in a close game? They foul. Oh. And they double up LeBron. I ain't liking that double team. LeBron is screening Hachimura. Back to James. It drops. Oh, but yeah, like I was saying, you want to keep the game close. What they needed here and was determined to this is what you're going to do. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Just to get the free throws out there. Kuzma comes in for Avdia. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Will Park. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. Play some time. Greatest, Let him score. I was able to listen in on what Wes Unsell Jr. had to say. There we go. See, look. Now they foul. We're running out of time. We're going to make a I don't like LeBron's free throw. Now, are you guys ready to make a move? Now this out. Then go Boom. take it. Kevin. Knock out these three throws. He drops the first one and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both and it's a six point ball game. He knows how important uh, knock down the three throws and then y'all know what to do. If y'all if I didn't guess already, you're gonna foul. They trail by six. There's twenty five seconds when they get the ball. to play in the final quarter. There's 25 okay, seconds shooting left that. in the fourth that's... quarter. And that's an intentional foul. That's not part of the game plan. Well, basically, at the end of the game, you want to try and get as many free throws as possible. And so, we so turn the ball over, foul, get your free throws done with and out the way. 20 seconds left look. in the fourth quarter Boom, of foul. this one. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Third personal foul. First team foul. 
There's 18 Boom, seconds foul. left here in the fourth quarter. And now it's going to go back so and forth. You and shoot your free throws, they shoot their free throws. The boy, it will help if you can make the, the make the free throw, my boy. And he does get the second one. And that narrows the gap to seven. Out of bounds, Washington Turn it over. Because Burrow want to miss free throws. Give it to Bradley Bill. Please. Because we already made like four free throws fast. There's 14 seconds there we go. left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now we've got the intentional foul. And don't miss no free throws this time, my boy. He hits the I want to take this one. I want him to make it. Six. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. All right. Whoa. We've got 13 Dang, seconds I don't like left this in the fourth quarter. Either. And they go to the intentional foul. First to the field foul. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws yeah. here. So now it's a Not seven point free game. Throws. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, the, the good news my boy fouled out. already got the win wrapped up. He might as well sit back and enjoy this Coming on to the floor for your whole team. And Morris drops them both. 11 seconds left to play in the final game. And Thank so you. they choose to intentionally foul. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a seven-point game. Eight seconds left in the game, and he commits the intentional foul. Yeah. Not much else to say. He's good, and that turns the lead to six. The lead to six. And Morris Easy. drops them both. Are they going to foul? Oh no, not LeBron. Six seconds left in the fourth. And so they choose to oh, attempt to oh, foul. Oh no, his free throw. He drops the first one and that increases hey, their lead to six. In. What I appreciate about LeBron is how much he loves being a leader. He knows how foul. much his teammates count on him. And an intentional foul right there. It's all good. It's this free throw so slow. Them within five. And Morris drops them both. See, foul me. Russell looking around. Oh, foul. And a deep three from James misses the shot. And so Salt Lake City. But yeah, that's a good way to get free throws done easy. You can do two, three games of doing that and then get your free throws in. Because you got to mid 20 with Lakers players. Pretty simple. Get your free throws out the way. And if my game will load, I'm just gonna wait for my game to load. Um, next gen. But yeah, simple. One minute quarters. Now, once you get the free throws out the way, you don't gotta go. You don't gotta do the fouls and stuff. So the fouls is gonna be easy. But in that game, you can get a couple dunks. You can get a couple threes. And then I do that one more time, made the free throws. Plus, as long as you're using 10 Lakers players, it counts towards this challenge as well. You get what I'm saying? So you do that, you get a couple games out the way, boom. This is an easy, that's an easy game to do to get your Lakers players challenge out the way. Now the triple threat, that's easy. While doing that, you're gonna get rebounds, you're gonna get points, you're gonna get some assists, hit some threes, hit some dunks. So. You just gotta combine challenges as your way, as your way of doing that. Now these 30 double doubles and these points and everything like that seems like a lot, but watch this. You wanna go back to the challenges, go back to the basketball fundamentals, A. Hey, and look, it's a 12 minute game. Now you might be looking at it like you crazy if you think I'm playing a 12 minute game, but I mean, during this game, you can get like 10 double doubles with your players. You get what I'm saying? Like, throughout the whole game, you can get a bunch of points, you can get a bunch of rebounds, a bunch of assists, mad fast. As long as you're using all Lakers players. That's my lineup right here. Shaq can get some dunks. LeBron got a three. He gets some threes. Other players get some assists, rebounds. And that's, it's, a, it's that simple. As long as everybody on your team is a Lakers player, they get a dunk, they get a three, they get a rebound, get an assist, score, anyway, it's all counting towards those challenges. And if you do the 12-minute games, 
you only got to do it like three times. Now, it may seem like a lot, but you do one a day, this challenge is here for a whole week. You know what I'm saying? You do one a day, Shaq can get some rebounds, get a double-double. LeBron can get some rebounds, get a double-double. These The guards can get assists. Backup guards can get some rebounds, assists. And it's on semi-pro difficulty, so it's going to be easy to score, going to be easy to hit a lot of shots. And I think doing that challenge is the fastest way. You feel me? I think that's the fastest way to get this Elgin Baylor. If if you want to, if you want to, because these don't seem that ridiculous to me. But like I said, you do the twelve minute quarters, you can do this. Fifty five points, twelve rebounds with a small forward. If you get LeBron, thirty tokens, that's easy. Dunks, you got LeBron, you got Shaq. Dunks are easy. Threes, LeBron actually has a good jumper. If you know how to time it, or if you got the shot meter on. And you green it up. As long as you green it up, this is easy. As you can see, just from doing the uh, what's it call it, the free throw method. I got a couple threes in there. I got a couple dunks in there. So you can get like sixty threes just by doing that uh twelve minute game one time. As long as you, as well as getting points, rebounds, assists, and all that. You know what I'm saying, and as you playing, getting these twenty games. As you're getting these 20 games done, you can also get rebounds, points, assists, like I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? So it may seem like a difficult thing to do, like 1,161 points. That's a lot of games. But with the 12-minute quarter game, you can get two, maybe even 300 points if you're green in, making all your shots. So I feel like it's an easy grind if you do it that way. You know what I'm saying? Do the one-minute quarter games for these challenges. Get your free throws out. I'm already almost done with the free throws. Then you do the 12-minute quarter games to get these double-doubles as well as getting these points. You feel me? And like I said, you could do like one game a day on the 12 minutes, and by the time you do all that, you're going to be like, dang, I'm kind of close to getting this Elgin Baylor. It's a free diamond, so... That's why I'm making this video. No money spent. I got you. But it's going to do it for this video. Leave a like. Subscribe. Especially if it helped you out. Because we're on the My Team content all year long. 2K content all year long. It's going to do it. I'm out. Peace.